Hello, welcome back to another video. This one is a little bit different. As you can see, I tried stamping and it didn't work. I got this clear jelly stamper from the original clear jelly stamper and it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. The packaging is really, really cute. All those little bows on it and the pattern. I just wanted to keep the box. You get a scraper in there that's like a flexible one. So it's quite bendy. So I've seen loads of reviews on this stamper and everyone seems to use it really well and it, it looks amazing, it works amazing. Um, I've not really done stamping before so I didn't want to get a cheap one um, and ruin it all straight away so I decided to go and get this and look at it, look at those crystals in there, I love it so much. It's got two stampers in it, it's got one at the bottom, another one at the top, it's got this lid that keeps it all safe which I love. Um, as you can see it's squishy. It's like one of those stress balls you get, I love it. I could just sit there squishing it all day, but that's not what it's for. So it is really gorgeous there, I've took it apart, just squishing the bottom one as well. So obviously you can't see through the bottom one because of the crystals on it, but you could use that if you didn't need to look through it. Now listening to other people's reviews and watching them on YouTube, I've learned that you need a lint roller just to prime the stamper before you use it. So here's mine. So I'll just roll it over like that, get any muck off that might be on it. So as you can see, it's clear all the way through. So if you've got a stamp on there, you can see exactly where you're putting it, which is great for me. The one time I did try stamping before, it was when they first came out years and years ago and it was um, a hard stamper that was, it wasn't a clear one, I couldn't see through it and I think that's why I gave up because I kept putting the stamps in the wrong place and I just got frustrated with it. Um, so when I got this clear one, I got these two stamping polishes as well, I just got a black 001 and I got this silvery one uh, 004, they have got names but I can't remember what they are. I will put links in the description with any names of them. So this is the plate that I'm going to use. It's um, just one off eBay. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on one um, just to see if I could get a cheap one to, to use for the first time. So I'm just taking this blue backing paper off. It's actually really sharp, this plate around the edges, so you need to be careful when you get them, I didn't realise. I am really clumsy so I'll probably end up cutting myself on this plate at some point. Whether it's on this video or another one I'm not sure but it'll probably end up happening at some point. Okay so that backing's off now. You can see this plate and my lovely hoodie there that I need on because it's snowing in the UK. Right in the middle of March and we've still got snow. But never mind. Okay so here we go I'm just using the black for this stamp. This is the first time I'm ever using it. I scrape down, that seems to scrape okay. So now I try and pick the stamp up. And that's not too bad for a first try, I can see most of it there. And the one underneath has seemed to stamp okay as well, I think I prefer that one. So I've just got white gel polish on this pop stick. So it's really good because you can turn it round and you can place it exactly where you want it. So from what I can tell you just need to press and roll a little bit when you're putting it on. You just press the edges down. So I can see that quite clear, I don't think that's too bad. That's alright for a first try. So let's try another one. So I'm using a silver stamping polish this time. Just scrape that over, seems to have gone on okay. So now I'm going to try and pick that image up onto the stamp and most of it's there. It's not very clear though. There's bits that haven't gone on properly. But I'm going to put it on the pop stick anyway so you can see what it looks like. I really do like the colour and I think over the white, yeah, over the white that looks really good. Obviously not the stamper, I know that it's me. But you can see there's bits missing there. So let's try again. 
using the silver again on this, um, I think it's like zebra print. I find the lighter touch with the scraper is best. If you do it too hard, it just ruins it. So that again, it's picked up okay. It's not amazing. Maybe it's, well, obviously it's my technique that's not very good yet. I need lots of practice. So let's press that down. I do like that silver over the black. I think that's okay. You can see most of it. When I can get it in focus, there we go. Yeah, I think that looks good. Not too bad at all. So let's try another one now. I'm using black again on that circular one that I tried on the first stamp because I like the look of that. It looked really good. So I'll try and pick it up. And I'm pressing quite hard with the stamper. Um, I don't think that's the right way to do it but it seems to have picked it up okay. I really love that you can see through it and exactly where you're putting it. Now that one it seems to have pulled off a little bit at the side, the design's not all there. I do like the colour over that lilac though, that's nice. So I'm going to put some music on now uh, while I carry on. And as you'll see there's one image that I tried to pick up about three or four times and it just didn't work. Um, but I will speak to you again at the end and let you know what I think. I did too badly for a first try but it wasn't brilliant obviously it wasn't the stamper it was me and my technique which wasn't very good um, I've recently watched a video of Sarah R's and also Talia's Nail Tales um, and they give you a lot of really good information on these stampers and how to use them and I've realized that I was pressing too hard with the stamper um, also I think I was leaving the polish on the plate for too long before I picked it up 
um, and another thing you need to clean the plate really really well um, and I was only using nail polish remover but then when I started using acetone it seemed to work a bit better so for next time I will take all those points on board and I will try again so that's it for this video even though it was a nail fail I'm going to try and do a nail success video with stamping next time so I will see you in the next one Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Also here are some videos that you might not have seen including how to get the look on your nails that I've got on in this video. See you next time.